Oh, uh, make sure you check out uh, JX Editor's channel. Uh, his edits are pretty cool. Um, I, 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 you need to show a tutorial on how you change those lightsaber colors, man. All right, so I guess I'm doing this now. As you can see in the original footage, Obi-Wan has a blue lightsaber while Anakin has a green. But in my edited version, Obi-Wan has a green and Anakin has a blue. So I'm going to show you how I did that. First thing you do is go into Effect, Color Correction, and Change to Color. Then set the From Color to the color that's already there, and the To Color to the color you want to change it to. Pretty simple. So I'm going to play around with Hue until basically the entire blade is changed, and then I'm going to turn the softness to 100%. Based on how this looks, I might keep it, or I might just bring it back. So, as you can see, Obi-Wan now has a green lightsaber, and it's time to turn Anakin's blue. So I'm going to do the exact same thing, except the colors are going to be reversed, and everything that's green is going to be turned blue. But now, as you can see, there is a problem. Since I've turned Obi-Wan's lightsaber to green, turning all of the green lightsabers in the shot to blue would involve changing his as well. So I'm going to go back and I'm going to add a third one before any of the other effects happen. And what it's going to do is it's going to turn all of the green into yellow. And what this will do is isolate Anakin's lightsaber before we turn Obi-Wan's lightsaber green. Then once Obi-Wan's lightsaber is green, we just turn all the yellow to blue. Now when you do this, you might occasionally come up with a clip like this, where there are two light sources on the screen that are the same color. And here's how I got around that. So the first thing you want to do is isolate all of the frames that has the alternate light source in it. Now I'm going to show you two different ways of doing this. One is a little more straightforward, and the other one is what I did when I didn't have a more advanced version of Premiere. So you're going to want to click this rectangle icon right here and what you want to do is now take the four corners of the rectangle and trace either the lightsaber blade or everywhere except where the lightning is going to be which is what I'm doing here. Then click the stopwatch next to mask path and just move the keyframes with your mouse to better fit what's going on. And once you're done, you'll have something that looks like this. Alternatively, if you're using a less advanced version of Premiere Pro, which is what I was doing when I first made this, I'm going to layer the clip with Obi-Wan's lightsaber changed over the exact same clip, except without the effect. Then I'll go into Video Effects, Transitions, Linear Wipe, and I'll click the stopwatch to make a keyframe, on the transition completeness. You don't really need to change the angle. It's pretty much the same in the entire clip. And just make a couple keyframes to adjust the transition completeness so it fits where the lightsaber is on screen. And once you're done, you'll have something that looks like this. Now I want to get onto something a little bit more complicated. This one is a little bit more traditional when it comes to lightsabers. This is actually rotoscoping. And it's very similar to what I did with General Grievous, as well as Orcrus, the Goblin Cleaver in The Hobbit. So it's going to start off like the other two, change to color, and then just change everything red, in this case, to yellow. And you just want to change all the numbers down here to 100%, since we're just going to be rotoing around the blade anyway. And you just want to trace around the blade and click the stopwatch next to mask path to create a keyframe and then when it comes to tracing you're better off rather than doing it frame by frame jumping around a bit and seeing how the keyframes interact with each other because you might be getting the computer to do most of the work for you
And once you're done, you'll end up with something that looks like this. The more intricate the motion of the lightsaber, the more keyframes you're going to have. For example, with this one, it's pretty much a line of keyframes. All in all, this is a pretty simple effect, and this is usually the part that I would just have some clever clip of Randy Marsh or an Oblivion Guard, but I don't have anything like that, so uh, here's another clip from that stream. Alright, I'm all, all, I'm all set up. Gonna record short lightsaber video. You're in it, by the way. Oh, I am!